Make sure you guys check out tcgplayer.com and my store is MTG Revealed. There you'll find Magic the Gathering singles at below market prices. I'll have the link below in the description. So take the time to click it and check out the store. Hey guys, what's going on? Today's video is going to be a little different. We're going to focus on some price movements on Urza Saga. Because today... I had a tip from one of my fellow patrons on a pretty good price on a Urg, Urga, Urza Saga tournament sealed deck. When I first looked at it, he said, hey, this is a great deal. Take a look at it. Car Kingdom, they're offering a sealed deck for $599. I thought, that sounds pretty expensive. I think a couple months ago, it was only a couple hundred dollars. But when I cross-checked, I looked at different prices, it was a pretty dang good deal. So I picked up a couple. I'm going to open one up on the channel. I'm going to keep one sealed. Because Urza Saga prices have shot through the roof. Shot through the roof, guys. And we're going to look at a couple cards. Specifically the top two cards of the set. Because all the other cards are kind of same trajectory of those two cards. Uh, there's about six cards in the set that are worth over a hundred dollars at this point But we're gonna look at the top two Because they're the top two most wanted cards out of the set and then we'll also look at sealed box prices The sealed tournament deck prices and kind of see what may have been influential in the price Is it price gouging or is it just the demand for the Urza Saga in general? So first card we're going to look at is Gaia's Cradle. Gaia's Cradle, that was one of my favorites. I actually had a graded Gaia's Cradle, BGS 9.5. I sold it a couple months ago because it was at the almost at the peak of its price. I sold it for almost $1,000. So we're going to look at where the card was and where the card peaked and where it is now. If you look at it, we're going to step back just about a year prior because the, the average of the card has been averaging between $300 to $400. So on January 12th, a year from when I'm taping this video, January 12th, it was priced at $329 and on January 12th. Couple of months later, on May 15th, we see a, a large peak for Guy's Cradle. It went up on May 15th to $545. I kind of looked up research kind of to see what may have influenced the price increase on this card. And guess what? On April 13th, what happened of that year? Everyone got their stimulus checks. It was what, $1,200 per person? And us Magic players who collect, that's a big bonus to us, right? And it stimulated our wallets so we could go and spend on magic. So for I believe, based off of that and based off of the timing of when that happened, people started snatching up cards that may have been a bit too expensive and all of a sudden $1,200 got deposited into their bank account and now they can go shopping and pick out what they want. So as they started picking up guys, guys created out $329, $350, $400, it peaked up all the way to $545, right? And this is about the, almost the same time when I sold my graded copy. But it not only stopped there, guys. On August 15th, as inventory began to dry up, people started to pick up because of the price movement guys created began to move up so quickly. This card peaked up to almost a thousand dollars on August fifteenth of twenty twenty. A thousand dollars for a guy's cradle, guys. A thousand bucks. That's insane. So within a eight month span, the card tripled in price, right, from three hundred and twenty nine dollars almost to a thousand bucks, right. So I think that's when people start taking the private and say, you know what, I really don't, I may not need this in my legacy deck. I may not need this at all in my collection. I'm going to take my profits. And just like any stock, you want to buy low and sell high. So people started to sell it. And as, as the market started to get a little bit more saturated with the cradles, it started to level out again. And it came back down to around $545 again. So it started to level out again from almost a thousand bucks to its current price to almost seven hundred 
and fifteen dollars still a pretty neat increase more than double its price from january 12th to today where this reserve list card has doubled in price so are we looking at uh, collectors who are buying up reserve list cards are we looking at people with more money who can buy more expensive cards because not only did we get a first stimulus check at twelve hundred dollars we got another stimulus check at six hundred dollars right so it gave other, uh, buyers another opportunity to continue to snatch up these cards. Are we going to see another increase? Maybe. But I think at this point, we've already seen the people use uh, a, a majority of their uh, stimulus unless they're holding on to it in case they don't have a job. But I'm seeing a lot of movement in these cards due to that first stimulus check going out. And you're seeing a lot of those reserve list cards take a big jump around that time. Now the second most valuable card in the set, and it wasn't always the second most valuable card in the set, is Gilded Drake. In the same time, January 12th, Gilded Drake was only worth $70, right? $70. And on April 16th, around the same time when Guy's Cradle saw that jump on April 13th, April 16th, Gilded Drake moved from $70 to $142 on April 16th only a couple of days after so you see once people got their stimulus checks of $1,200 they began to snatch up a lot of these cards and it's not just Urza's Saga it was any kind of reserve list cards that you guys saw uh, in Magic take this huge jump because people started buying a lot of it when I first did my my Beckett grading video I had a lot bigger a graded collection. Since then, I've sold my Dual Lands, Lion's Eye Diamond, uh, Legends Mana Drain, my Gaia's Cradle, Wheel of Fortune Revised. A lot of these cards took that jump, and I said, you know what? When stocks are high, sell. And I did the same thing. I followed the same motto in Magic, where I said, hey, this is time to take profits. Let's go ahead and start selling. So again, April. 16th of 2020 gilded drake went from a 70 dollar card to 142 dollars in june it jumped up to 250 dollars august we saw its peak at 315 dollars at its highest price point so from august 2020 we saw it jump from 70 dollars to 315 that's more than four times its original price from a year ago, right? So right now it's leveled off to $250. Uh, again, still a, a great increase, still a great card to have, but $250 total. Wow, what a, a reserve card list jump. You guys will see that in Wheel of Fortune and, and, and anything that has been put on the reserve list, uh, people have taken that money and put it back into the collectible arena. And so now we're really going to the reason why I, I needed to look into this because Mr. Johnny MTG, who also has a channel, he grades cards. He gave me a tip. Hey, look at the price of this Ur Urza Saga tournament deck, sealed tournament deck, right? So I'm going to take a look at Urza Saga, the booster box in general, and see what the price trajectory from a year ago to now, and same thing with the tournament deck. So, if you look at back in June 2020, not that, not even that long ago, June of 2020, I was searching through Facebook, and there's individuals offering a sealed box of Urza Saga for three thousand dollars, three thousand bucks. Most recently, they've been selling for five thousand dollars. Today. On eBay, there is a sealed box of Urza Saga going for $5,600 with one day left. I'm surprised to see what that's going to end up with. I'm thinking $6,500, $7,000, probably closer around that wage, even maybe even more because of the cards that are desired in this box and because a lot of the sealed product is really drying up. If you look on eBay, you look on uh, TCG Player, not, there's, there's really nothing left. There's nothing offered up just because of the actual price of the product alone. And who's really going to you know, drop a lot of money onto these sealed boxes? 
So let's take a look at the tournament decks. The tournament decks, about a year ago, sell them between $200 to $300. Not even a couple months ago, you could pick some up for about $300, $400, $500. I thought it was a steal at $599 on January 12, 2020. If you look at the listings on eBay and the listings on TCG Player, even the tournament decks are being bought up and the market is drying up on all these sealed products. So if you look at the listings now, it's incredible. I think the lowest listings I've seen on the tournament decks is on eBay for $850. That was only one item. So if that sells, the only other items on there for a sealed tournament deck, not even a sealed booster box, you're looking at $1,200, $1,300. On TCG Player, the lowest, I believe, is $1,300. So what's the ceiling, guys, of these sealed tournament decks, of these sealed booster boxes? Urza Saga, is it going to turn out to be the next $10,000 box when we're looking at Beta Alpha? Beta Alpha is already two out, of, two out of my range. I haven't even thought about even looking at even buying a pack. Because you're looking at a pack for a, 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 a beta or alpha at more than ten to fifteen thousand dollars, because just because of the possibility of pulling a, a black lotus. But I just wanted to look into that because of the tip, I, a great tip I got from Johnny NTG. I was able to pick up a couple sealed packs. I'm gonna open it up, even though I got them at a great deal, and they're selling for thousand, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. Of course, I'm gonna keep, keep a couple. But we're going to open up the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that like button. Comment below. What do you guys think is influencing this market? Is it all the stimulus checks that are coming into people's bank accounts? People are, are out there actually earning a bit more money from the unemployment checks. They're at home, bored. Let's collect again. Let's play what we've played when we were kids. And let's spend this money. So is it a good time to sell now? Or are you guys going to keep on waiting to see where this goes? For me, I think I'm going to do a, a little bit of both. Sell a little bit of, of what I have. Keep a little bit of what I have. So that way if there's, if there's more money to be made in the future, I at least have some cards out there to be able to sell in the future to, to still make a little bit of money. All right, guys. If you like that type of video, make sure you hit that like button. I'll make more of these. Uh, but of course, we're still going to open some packs. So tune in, guys.